Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we review basic operation of Quantum's SMC4000 stabilizer controller, which is capable of handling both underway and zero speed stabilizer operations. The SMC4000 is configured for the stabilizer arrangement supplied on the vessel. In this video, we'll give an overview of the controller functionality for fin type stabilizer systems, touching on the differences for various fin stabilizer configurations. For additional reference specific to the SMC4000 on your vessel, see the SMC4000 Operation Summary Guide, generally provided at the beginning of the Quantum Supplied Manual. Or check out a generalized SMC4000 Operation Summary Guide posted on Quantum's website on the Service Instructions page. To turn on the SMC4000, simply tap the screen. If the screen remains black, press the power switch on the SMC4000 control cabinet to power on the controller. The power switch will illuminate if the controller is powered. Once the power button is depressed, the screen will initialize, which takes a minute. Do not touch the screen during this process. After initialization, the Hibernate screen displays. In Hibernate mode, only the controller and control touch screens are powered. The remainder of the stabilizer system remains powered down, unless powered up locally. From any screen, the screen illumination can be controlled via the dim button. Touch the dim button to reveal the four levels of illumination available. Press cancel to keep the illumination at the current level. To keep the stabilizer system active but completely black out the panel, the 100% button is available. Touching this button will cause the screen to go completely black. Simply touch anywhere on the screen to re-illuminate it. To exit hibernate mode, touch the quantum logo, then touch the yes button on the confirmation window. Take care to press precisely on the yes button as recognition area on the screen is small. This opens the mode selection screen. Upon entering this screen, the hydraulic system is started and the local stabilizer control modules are powered up. During this time, the mode selection screen will read, Initializing, please wait. After about 20 seconds, the message will change to System on, signaling the all clear to activate the stabilizers. Before starting up the stabilizer system, it is a good idea for safety reasons to check that the stabilizer hydraulic system is not undergoing maintenance and that the vessel's location and general conditions are appropriate for stabilizer activity. From this screen, it is possible to select from the available stabilizer operating modes, center, underway manual, underway auto, and zero speed. For all of these modes, the fin movement and position can be visually assessed via the fin angle indicators on the left and right extremes of the screen. The number and type of fin indicators will match the number and type of fins installed on the vessel. The port side fin is indicated on the left and the starboard side fin is indicated on the right. For four fin systems, the forward fins will be shown outermost on the screen Aft fins will be shown inboard. The fin's center position is indicated by the yellow middle light. For XT systems, the position of each XT fin foil is indicated next to the corresponding fin angle indicator. XT out represents the condition with the XT foil completely extended for zero speed operations. XT in indicates that the foils are retracted for underway operations. When first started, the SMC4000 will automatically enter the center mode. In the center mode, hydraulic pressure is used to actively keep the stabilizers in their center or non-stabilizing position. In order to activate the stabilizers so that the fins begin to move to counteract roll motions, it is necessary to engage one of the underway or zero speed modes on the control. So long as the vessel is underway, the two underway modes, auto and manual, are available. To engage the stabilizers in auto, press the Underway Auto Stabilization button. The Underway Auto Control screen will appear, from which the operator can activate the stabilizers by pressing the Fin Active button. For four fin systems, the forward and aft fin pairs can be activated separately. In the Auto mode, the control reads the roll position and velocity from the roll sensor, and together with recent roll history, determines the optimal fin activity to reduce vessel roll. Fin activity will be evident by the fin position indicators. Of the two underway operating modes, the auto mode presents the least burden to the operator. After the fins are activated, the only input required by the operator is to indicate if the stabilizers are to correct for a vessel's list 
by turning on the List Control button in the middle of the screen. A portion of the button turns green to indicate that List Control is on. For most situations, the Auto Mode will yield the best performance. However, in certain conditions, the Auto Mode may not interpret the vessel's operating conditions appropriately, and the operator may feel that better performance is possible. The Manual Mode, engaged by pressing the Underway Manual Stabilization button, enables the user to optimize stabilizer performance by adjusting control settings. On the Underway Manual Control screen, the stabilizers can be activated by touching the Fin Active button. With the three sliders in the middle portion of the screen, an operator can fine-tune the control settings for the conditions, based on his feel of the roll motions on board. However, when conditions change, the operator will need to readjust accordingly. For four fin systems, the forward and aft stabilizer pairs can be activated separately, and the three control settings can be separately adjusted for each fin pair. The three control adjustments available in the manual mode include Stabilize, List Control, and Beam Follow. Let's start with the Stabilize control setting. The Stabilize setting is used to control the overall sensitivity of the stabilizer system. Setting Stabilize to zero, or fully down on the slider, minimizes the allowed fin deflection. As the slider is raised, more and more fin deflection is allowed until, at the fully raised position, the stabilizer fins are allowed to deflect freely as required to counter roll. Since fin deflection is required to provide roll reduction underway, if the stabilizer performance is less than desired, try turning the stabilize setting up by raising the slider until desired performance is achieved. However, too much fin response can overcompensate, forcing the vessel to roll back and forth at small angles. When this happens, the vessel roll will feel unnatural and jittery. To correct, try turning the stabilize setting down by lowering the slider until the unnatural motion cease. When using the sliders on the SMC 4000, take care to press precisely on the slider bar, as the finger recognition area on the screen is small. Please note that the stabilize setting defaults to zero, or the lowermost position, when the system is first started. Thus, when first engaging manual mode, it will be necessary to activate the fins and raise the stabilized slider to get the fins to move. An operator can use the stabilizer fins to correct for a vessel's list in manual mode by using the list control slider. With this setting set to zero, or fully down on the slider, the stabilizer system will not correct vessel list. As the slider is raised, the stabilizer fins center position will offset to gradually compensate for more vessel list. The degree and direction of fin offset is calculated by the controller based on the heel detected by the roll sensor. At a setting of 1, when the slider is fully raised, the stabilizer fin's center position is offset as far as functionally practical, offering maximum list compensation. Depending on the degree of list, this setting may not bring the vessel fully upright. Since use of the list control feature offsets the fins, vessel drag will increase which may affect vessel speed and will reduce fuel efficiency. For this reason, use of list control is recommended for short voyages where increased fuel consumption can be tolerated. For longer voyages, it is more economical to correct vessel list by adjusting the vessel's loading condition. Finally, the beam follow control allows a user to adjust the stabilizer actuator timing for changing sea conditions. When a vessel is in seas with a period of encounter close to the vessel's natural roll period, such as often occurs in beam seas, a heavier weighting of the roll velocity from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, the beam follow slider is to be lowered towards the zero or beam setting. When the vessel is in seas with frequencies of encounter much longer than the vessel's natural roll period, typical in stern quartering or following seas, a heavier weighting of roll angle from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, raise the beam follow slider up towards the one or follow setting. Please note that this setting must be adjusted by feel on board. Rarely is best performance achieved with a slider fully lowered, even in pure beam seas, or fully raised, even in pure following seas. With these three settings, the operator is able to adjust the settings of the controller underway. While the vessel is at rest, the zero speed stabilization mode is available. To engage the stabilizers in zero speed mode,
press the zero speed stabilization button and activate the fins by pressing the fins active button. For XT systems, the XT foils will deploy automatically once the zero speed mode is selected. In the zero speed mode, the control reads the roll position and velocity from the roll sensor and together with recent roll history determines the optimal fin activity to reduce vessel roll. Overall stabilizer system sensitivity is adjustable via the stabilized slider. With this slider set to zero, allowed fin deflection is minimized and the stabilizers will do nothing. As the slider is raised, the allowed fin deflection will increase. If stabilizer performance is less than desired, raise the slider. Lower the slider if the stabilizers are overcompensating and causing a jittery roll motion on board. Regardless of the mode the controller is operated in, it is essential that the stabilizer system is engaged in the center mode for reversing operations, scenarios where slamming may occur, and during maneuvering. This requirement is for the safety of the equipment. In reversing situations, because the stabilizer fins have a larger area after the shaft, the danger exists that water flow backwards over the fins will force them to their maximum deflection, possibly causing equipment damage. This danger is minimized while the stabilizers are in their center mode. For vessels with high reversing speeds, above five knots or so, Quantum also recommends engaging the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units as an additional precaution. In heavy seas, if the stabilizer fins are located such that they may be exposed to slamming loads, Quantum recommends that the stabilizer controller be left on and in the center mode with the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units not engaged. This will maintain the fins in their center position to minimize loading on the units, but will allow them to deflect in case slamming occurs. In these situations, it is recommended to reduce speed and change course to avoid damage to the stabilizer units. To protect the equipment from damage, the SMC-4000 will remain in the center mode during maneuvering operations, during which time all other operating modes will be blocked. This is indicated by the word blocked beneath each operating mode button. If the stabilizer controller is in an operating mode when maneuvering begins, the controller will automatically engage the center mode. Once maneuvering is complete, it will be possible to reselect the desired mode. While an operating mode is blocked, it is possible to access the operating mode's control screen. Text on the screen will indicate that the mode is blocked. If the fin active button is selected, the system will revert back to fin standby. The controller engages center mode for maneuvering if either main engine is in reverse. For vessels with dynamic positioning systems, the center mode is engaged when speed through the water reads more than three knots astern. For systems with speed log inputs, the ship's speed is displayed on the underway auto and underway manual control screens. If the speed log is not connected or is switched off, the text no valid speed data will appear beneath the speed indication field. To protect the system from inappropriate hydrodynamic conditions on the stabilizer fins, the controller also automatically engages the center mode if propulsion conditions are not appropriate for the selected mode. As long as one main engine remains in forward, or for dynamic positioning systems, vessel speed through the water is three knots ahead or greater, then both of the underway stabilization modes are available. If neither engine is in forward, the vessel is no longer considered underway, and the underway stabilization modes become blocked. If an underway stabilization mode is active when underway operations cease, the control will automatically engage the center mode. Conversely, as long as both engines remain in neutral, or for dynamic positioning systems, as long as the vessel speed through the water is less than three knots ahead or astern, the vessel is considered at rest, and the zero speed stabilization mode is available. If the vessel is engaged in forward or reverse, the zero speed mode becomes blocked. If the zero speed mode is active when the vessel shifts into forward or reverse, the control will automatically engage the center mode. At the center and bottom of the screen is an alarm indicator. The indicator turns red and a buzzer will sound when an alarm is triggered. To check the alarm status or silence an alarm, it is necessary to enter the alarm status screen by pressing the alarm status mute button. The alarm status screen indicates the status of system alarms. Each alarm point is indicated on the screen with a colored box and concise text. 
A green box indicates normal operating condition. The box turns red and text changes to indicate an alarm. The extent of alarms indicated may vary by system. However, typical system alarms include oil temp, indicating high oil temperature in the oil reservoir, oil level, indicating low oil level in the oil reservoir, and oil filter, signaling the pressure filter element is clogged and operating in the bypass condition. When one of these alarms is triggered, a buzzer will be audible. To silence the alarm buzzer, press the mute button. To clear the alarm, the alarm condition must be corrected. Additional indicators may be provided to show pump running status and to alarm for failure to raise hydraulic system pressure. Some vessels choose to have all of these alarms displayed in a central vessel alarm monitoring system instead of or in addition to display on the SMC control. Of course, silencing an alarm at the SMC has no effect on alarm indication at the vessel's monitoring system. For vessels with multiple power units, the alarms are grouped by power unit. Generally, port side power unit alarms are displayed on the left, starboard side alarms on the right. XT power unit alarms are generally located beneath the main power unit for each side. For vessels with many hydraulic power units, the alarms may be split between two pages. In these cases, alarms for the forward units are typically provided on the main alarm status screen. Alarms for power units located aft can be accessed via the aft button. General features on the alarm status screen include under the heading SW status, a blinking green light indicates that the SMC software is running. Confirmation of the stabilizer operating modes allowed by the controller in the current propulsion conditions is indicated under the allowed modes heading. An hours button, if provided, gives access to the system hours screen which indicates system runtime in each of the operating modes, as well as total accumulated fin travel and motion. Finally, a service button is available for use by quantum engineers for commissioning the stabilizer system. On some systems, the alarm status screen also provides auto centering functionality. With auto centering turned on and the stabilizer system in hibernate mode, the control will regularly check fin position. If the fin is faulting from its center position, the control will briefly turn on the stabilizer hydraulic system so as to re-engage the stabilizer fin in center position and then immediately shut down the system. To shut down the stabilizer system, simply press the hibernate button from the mode selection screen and select yes to confirm your intention. In the hibernate mode, the control will automatically engage the stabilizer fins in their center position and shut down the system. Only the SMC4000 main controller and its touchscreens will remain powered. For most vessel operating scenarios, this is the recommended shutdown condition for the stabilizer system. However, if the vessel is to be hauled out, inactive for extended periods of time, or if maintenance is to be done on the stabilizer hydraulic system, with the control in the hibernate mode, press the power button on the SMC4000 control cabinet. This will stop the power supply to the controller and the entire stabilizer system. Thank you for watching. This video was a basic review of SMC4000 control operation and some material was excluded for the sake of time. For more in-depth information on operation and maintenance of quantum stabilizer systems, come to one of the training sessions at our Fort Lauderdale, Florida office or contact us to arrange a training session on board your vessel. Contact information is available on our website at www.quantumhydraulic.com.